Hi, ready for writer's workshop? We did a lot of conferencing this year and everybody was a little different. Now, some of you children I've only had for a few weeks and you've done some great work. Some of you children I've had all year. So you've done a few more conferences and some children haven't really gotten into the conference bit. So that's what's different about this. Everybody's project that they're working on is going to be a little different. So parents and children, you're really going to need to listen. Now you all have been given a writer's workshop folder and in the folder you've been keeping all the books you made. You should have your alphabet chart and you should have a couple of blank books because we haven't used all of them and I even put some in this last month's learning kit. So you are going to be working on different things. So let's listen and maybe you'll get to hear something that you didn't know about some of your friends. Now Corwin's been working really hard. He's come to all of his writer's workshops and he was working on a book about candy. I've seen that he has the cover done and he has the first page done. So what I want to see from Corwin is I want to see what his next page is going to be. And mom can send me a picture of that. Now Corwin may only do one page or he may decide to do the rest of the book. That's up to him. I want to see some work done. And Corwin's mom could send me a picture or she could actually send me a video of him reading the book. Again, that is up to you and your parents to decide. So Corwin, I'm looking to see what's going on with that candy book. Um, Dayton. Dayton, we haven't really gotten you started. You came to the first one, and for some reason I must have forgotten to write down what we were working on. So you may have a brand new book I haven't seen yet. So on your book, I want to see at least the cover, Dayton. Can't wait. Dominic's come to a couple of conferences, and he was writing a book about Power Rangers. And he did a page, and he did the cover. So I want to see what the next page is going to be or even more if Dayton wants to. Estenal, I haven't seen yours yet either. I can't wait to see what your book's going to be about. Gabby's been coming to Writer's Workshop. She, her last book was about ducks before she had done a book about a Christmas tree. And I think she said that she had some more stuff to write about those ducks. So Gabby, I'd like to see the end project of your book. And again, it can be pictures or it can be a little video if your parents can do that. Geneva, boy, you haven't been with me long, but you really went to town on your book. You did your teddy bear book, and uh, you finished the cover of your rainbow book, so I can't wait to see what's next in your rainbow book. Hunter was writing a book about a little city. That's pretty cool, Hunter. I can't wait to see what's next. Show me a page I have not seen, or read everything you've got. That would be super. Jackson, you were working on your book about sharks, but I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. Either, I'm not sure, I can't remember if you finished it. I think I wrote that you finished it. But if you haven't, show me your finished book about sharks, or what will your next book be about? I can't wait to see that cover. Uh, Caleb, I haven't seen any work from you, buddy. I can't wait to see it because you are an awesome writer. So what will your first book be about? Maxwell, he was showing me his Power Ranger book again. He's been working on Dragon Ball Z. Can't wait to see what you have to show me. Are you going to finish your Dragon Ball Z book? Or have you started a new one? Can't wait to see the new work. Maya, she was, she wrote um, Unicorn for her next book. We wrote the title together and now Maya is going to show me the first page. Can't wait to see that too. Olivia, we worked together too um, on page one of her cupcake book. See, I have this paper where I'm writing everything down. So she did the cover already and we worked together on page one. So I want to see maybe page one and page two from Olivia. Cupcake book, isn't that a great idea? And oh, Rivaldo and I worked together too on writing the word frog. So that's pretty cool. His book is about frogs. Hmm, what will your first page be about, Rivaldo? Can't wait to see it. Now, Samuel, you said you were going to write a book about superheroes. And we talked a lot, but I haven't seen it. So that's what I want to see. I want to see the cover of your superhero book. And Sebastian, too. 
He said he's going to write a book about dogs, but I haven't seen anything yet. Come on, Sebastian. I can't wait to see the cover of that book. And Xylexis has been working and working and working. She did a book about teeth, a book about rainbows. Her newest book is about friends. And I saw the cover and the first page. So Xylexis, if you want to write the next page or even a little more, that's up to you. But boys and girls, that's what we're doing today. Today, your job is to work some more on your writing. I want to see those books. And you know what? If you've got more ideas, you can start a new book when this one is finished. But let's work on finishing this book. So show me what you're working on. I can't wait to see. And I'm going to try to write it down so that I can let other people know. Now let's talk one more minute before you get started. On every page, well, on the cover, you need a title, you need a picture, and you need the author's name. That's you. You also need to use three or more colors, and your picture needs to fill up the page. Now, when you're doing your writing, we always write with a pencil, and we color with crayons. Always write with a pencil and color with crayons. So here, you'll figure out where you want your writing to go and where you want your picture to go. Now, boys and girls, I'm looking for your writing and your spelling and how well you can put the sounds you hear on here. Some of you kids do this all by yourself every single time. And as long as you can point and read it back to me, I know it's your work. That's awesome. Spelling parents can come later. Right now, they need to be brave enough to put down the sounds they hear and practice that. And the more you read to them, the more they'll see words and the more the spelling will correct itself. And then it, there will be a point where you will know that it's right to start spelling words. But until your child stops looking at you and says, how do you spell that? How do you write that? You know that it's in time to encourage them. If they draw a girl and all they write is G and they read it. This is a girl she went to the store. This is their writing. And what you can encourage is, this is a girl. This, what do you hear in this? They might only hear S, write it, leave a space. Is, oh, is we know, I S, that's a sight word. A, I can write that, girl, they put a G as long as they can read it. So you can encourage them to put a letter for each word. You can let it be with just that letter. It needs to be what they're writing and what they're telling me. Now, boys and girls, if you have finished a book, remember, you can always add a dedication. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to dedicate your book to? Now, you don't have to. That's an author's choice. Dedicate it to mom or dad or your friends or your brothers or your sisters or your teddy bear or anything you want. It's your book. And then on the back, you always could put an author's note. We used to do that a lot. We haven't talked much about it, but that's when an author puts their picture. Now, if mom or dad have a photograph and you want to put your picture on the back of your book and write, um, Maxwell wrote this book. Maxwell likes... Four-wheelers? Did I get that right? Tell something about you. Maxwell lives in Nashua with his family. An author's note tells about you, the author. So if you finished a book, but you really want to keep working on it, author's note, I'm sorry, a dedication or an author's note. You could number the pages. Authors have lots of decisions to make. So I can't wait to see what you do. This is the first time everybody has something different to work on. So get out your writer's workshop folder. Work on the next page or two in your book you've had out. And read it to me. Have mom send a picture. Have dad make a video. Whatever works for your family is okay with me, but I can't wait to see it. Have fun being writers, boys and girls. You got this.